guys, uh, here's the video for uh, next week. Card diagnostic scanner is uh, all system card diagnostic tablet, which is named K1. It's a 10.1 inch tablet with the back camera and the stand. And also here some bottoms for the uh, for the tablet, and we got the Type C. So uh, also inside here is the Android. 7.0 also you have all this software installed so I'm gonna show you one by one later about how this is gonna work and we have one user menu which have around five languages which is step by step about how to register Here we got the activation card for your product we got the K1 VCI for Netspeak and here's the charger there are four options, and here's the Type C USB cable. So I'm gonna show you on this Lexus 270, and step by step about how this works. So the first step to use this scanner is to plug this one into your OBD2 socket, which is underneath the driving wheel, and you will see there are two lights going to show red and the blue which means the Bluetooth is open so after you plug your VCI to your vehicles you can just go to your software which is Nextpeak pre-installed and you have the Bluetooth automatically connected that's very convenient you can switch your languages you can check the system information you can also view here you can see this uh, upgrade function and also inside the app store you can upgrade your car diagnostics software let's go to the car diagnostics and you have all this software there are total 85 software that are supported so uh, go to the uh, and go to the Europe you can just slide there, slide from left to right and slide from Asia and also from China also Australia and there's a function for the OBD2 so I'm running this diagnostic on the uh, Lexus it's a Lexus uh, 270 so I'm gonna show you step by step about how we're gonna use this diagnostic too so it's from Japan you can use these selected vehicles to import the information one by one or or you can just uh, use the auto vehicle scan, auto scan a vehicle wind code. So you already read the information, which is RX270, and all this information is correct. You have only input one option. So this is a 2014 Lexus. So all this information are filled. Just click on next. So it will connect the ECU. So here we already enter the diagnostic interface. We have a diagnostic. You can or you can do some customized settings, which is what we call the coding. So inside the diagnostic, you have power chain traces and body, and also there's a quick tech functions. We can see what we inside the power train. We got the engine cr crushes control or there's a ECT. So you can click on all these systems and it will tell you about all this information about how to do that. And we're going to show you all these systems that are supported by the Dynoxy 2. Here's the body. So inside here we have all this information like the mirror and the left and the right drive seats so you can directly read the travel codes or you can do the activate text which is very easy to diagnostics it's very fast one and also you have all this system that are supported there's also you can do a quick test so it will scan the uh, system that are supported by the vehicles So here we have scanned all the systems which has total 26 ECUs that support it. So you can uh, click on each option to uh, enter 
easier to see what fault code you're gonna have. So you can do some active tests. You can active the mirror heater or the uh, foot light or the mirror fold. Or you can do this function. This is very easy. You can print this report or save this report. That's very easy to diagnostic. So inside here, we're gonna have some customized settings for Lexus. So all this is uh, coding functions that you can activate all these sensors and the uh, like the seat functions, smart key, assets. So this is the uh, features for this uh, next week K1.